Right, these are the five binary arithmetic operators. And they're called binary because they operate on um, two operands. That's uh, one on the left and one on the right of the operator. Um, you'll recognize um, uh, four of these. And the fifth one here is uh, one that's uh, not really that difficult. I'll come to it later. Right, with these... Um, with all these operands here, the first thing you do is binary numeric promotion and uh, the type that you get as a result of that promotion is the type of the result that's used as the type of the result. Okay so here's uh, the first one plus, uh, we all know how to add up I hope, so um, now if the um, promoted type is an integral type so it's uh, it will end up being either int, int or long um, the result is exact. You get the exact result. Unless overflow occurs, in which case the result is the lower bits of the correct result and the sign is wrong. And if you work out, that's exactly what you'd expect. Um, if the promoted type is a floating point type, so it's float or double, then the normal IEEE 754 rules follow. So things like uh, minus 0 plus 0 is plus 0 and uh, minus 0 plus minus 0 is minus 0 etc. Uh, everything that you'd expect. Uh, the other thing to note about it of course is that um, with uh, any sort of floating point thing the order which you do things can affect the accuracy and um, here's a little example down here to demonstrate that. If you, um, if you add up uh, that in that first and then add that you get one result if you add those two together and then add that you get a slightly different result it's all basically down to rounding and overflow and stuff uh, you get that more of course with float than you do with double which has got more precision so that's something to be aware of uh, minus um, subtraction that's uh, exactly the same rules, exactly the same sort of thing applies and um, and if it's a IEEE 754 rules that apply then um, then um, in all cases A minus B is exactly the same as A plus minus B and that's a general rule for IEEE 754 which is what you'd expect so in fact that applies of course to um, ints as well, so ints and nons, so in all cases. Right, in the case of multiplication you use the asterisk for mul multiply and um, it's um, all of it's basically very similar to the um, addition and subtraction operators and uh, you get the exact results if it's in integral types, so if it's uh, an int or a long is correct unless you get overflow in which case you get the lower bits of the correct result and the sign might or might not be wrong and um, uh, if the uh, promoted type is uh, is a floating point type then obviously you just use the same rules as IEEE 754 so all this business about multiplying by zero and um, uh, multiplying by plus infinity or minus infinity so that's all flows those rules and uh, again of course for floating point uh, you have to be careful about the order because that can affect things and there's a couple of examples where it's uh, been affected by underflow there and with a different order it's quite happy gets the right result and um, here's something else as well where that's the exact answer which is closer to uh, it's closer to the top one here, I think. Yeah, that one's more like the correct answer. Yeah, so uh, that's that. For um, for division, you use this uh, slash here, as you might expect. And um, again, if it, the promoted type is uh, an integral type, so it's int or long, then um, the result is uh, the integer rounded towards zero with the appropriate ar arithmetic sign. What that means is um, if he was to kind of write it down and do it on paper as you normally would then uh, just scrub out everything off from the decimal point onwards and uh, that's the answer I give. Um, the one exception to this 
is if you're dividing um, the most negative number by minus 1 and then the result overflows and you end up with the most negative number again. Um, and also there's another case if you divide by 0 you'll generate a runtime exception. We'll talk a lot about exceptions later. So here's a couple of examples. Uh, 10 divided by 3, well that goes 3 times. Uh, 10 divided by minus 3 is minus 3 and minus 3 divided by 3 is minus 3 and well there's all standard arithmetic stuff. And here's, uh, here's that case of uh, the most negative number, that's the most negative int. If you divide it by minus 1 you end up with the same thing again, the most negative int. So um, that's because it overflows because ideally there will be it would be positive, not negative, but it's, it's the wrong way around. Okay, uh, as you might expect, if um, if uh, it's floating point, then it follows the IEEE floating point rules, and there's no runtime exception, even if you try dividing by zero. Something to be aware of. Right, here's the um, operator that you might not have seen before. It's um, this percent thing here and it's um, used for the remainder, it's the remainder operator and um, all it does is, well in, in the case of uh, integral types what it does is uh, give you the remainder on division by something, so A percent B is the remainder on division by B which means of course that if you do if you do the division as an integer division multiply by B it will come a little bit short and then subtract that from A and you've got the remainder um, um, as a result, of course, the remainder has got the same sign as um, A in, in the above example. Now if, this, if the second operand is a zero, of course, you get a runtime exception. Right, if the promoted type is a uh, floating point, then um, it's uh, doing the same sort of thing, um, basically exactly analogous to that. Uh, what's happening is um, you do A divided by B and truncate it towards zero. So that tells you how many integer times it goes into B goes into A basically, and um, and then you subtract that off and you got uh, the remainder. But this is quite different, in fact, from the IEEE um, uh, specification. So that's something to be aware of. It's not the same because uh, with the IEEE it um, rounds towards the nearest integer and uh, not truncates towards zero like it does here. And, and this, in fact, follows um, uh, C and uh, C++, so it's exactly the same as um, those two languages. Uh, that's probably why it's done this way and not followed the IEEE. Okay, and if you've got B, you're doing it by, uh, you get not a number.